Hello and welcome to another edition of the Students' Cookery. Well, it's football season, which means soup season. So today we're going to start with a basic uh, chicken stock so that we have some stock to make some soups. And we're going to do here at the Students' Cookery one soup every other Sunday. And this way we'll have it to show you guys and maybe for the next week then you can make it for your loyal guests that come over for Sunday to watch some football. So let's start here with, uh, we need about eight pounds of chicken. Now actually what I did was, whenever I did some, some wings, I actually took the, the wing, the, the little ends, and I saved them. So I have a bowl of those here. Then I have uh, some chicken breast that I picked up today. And because you're gonna be boiling it right away, I got the one that was on sale. Um, it's in the bone. And then we're gonna take this afterwards and make some chicken salad with it. I have two onions two ribs of celery, three carrots, and then I'm gonna make a garnet, uh, a bouquet de garnet, and I'm gonna put it in here. And we have some thyme, some bay leaf, some parsley, and a couple of peppercorns. Uh, pretty much you just put that all into the pot, and you fill it with some cold water, and you let it come to a, 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 a boil, and then you turn it down and you let it simmer for three to four hours, um, skimming it as needed. You wanna skim off the foam at the top. So let's get started here, and it's pretty simple. We just want to uh, put all this stuff in here. Now you can also make the garnet, uh, the, bou the bouquet de garnet, um, by putting in some celery and tying it up with some butcher string. But I think I'm gonna do it like this time, this time and see what happens. And the peppercorns, not every recipe calls for the peppercorns. I just felt like adding them in there. So this just goes kind of like this. You put it on there, and then it has a little flow through thing. I also use it when I make some, some tea and put some peppermint in there and steep the peppermint. This way the peppermint doesn't get all stuck in there. Uh, for our vegetables, we just want to kind of cut them. A rough cut, medium dice maybe, something like this. I washed these off ahead of time, but I didn't peel them. So, celery in, and carrot, let's just cut the ends off of carrots, and then Now, of course, your stock can stay maybe two weeks in the fridge, but you can also freeze your stock. You can also, after you remove all the ingredients, continue to cook your stock down until it gets nice and thick. And you can then you can actually, if you wanted to, you could put it into little, um, what do you call those things? Ice cube trays and make yourself little... So we're just gonna just make it easy to clean up later. Peel off the outer thing, the outer skin. So let's uh, put some comments in there. I, well, I know there's gonna be comments. Let's get some comments. I wanna see who your favorite team is, who you're gonna be rooting for this year. Let's get a loose of soups going that we might want to make. Um, of course, you have your basic chilies, your chicken noodle. Uh, let's see how creative we can be with some different soups. I think I have a roasted pepper, red pepper soup to do this year, which is going to be pretty good. And I'm really going to try that one. If you have a soup you'd like me to try for you, I can do that as well.
I know this stuff is pretty basic, but some people Let's, see. Let's put the chicken in. And let's get this chicken in. Let's trim off any extra fat, maybe. We don't really need all that fat on there. There we go. We'll get that one in. All right. So we get that all rolling. I'm going to get the uh get some water on it and then we'll give it give you a shot of the way it looks in a minute or two here. All right, so there we have our pot filled with cold water. We're gonna let that come to a boil and then we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna let it just simmer and just roll a little bit. This way it stays nice and clear. You don't want it too cloudy. So we'll check back with you a little while, give you a little progress and show you how we skim out some of the extra fats. All right, welcome back. We have our chicken stock has is been is done, simmered for a while. I think it's simmered for about six or seven hours, and you'll see from a low, nice low simmer. You can see, you'll see just how clear it is, and all the beautiful flavors that are in here. Gonna strain it like this. Let's get something. Let's get a little more, something a little bigger to strain, pull it out with. Smells really good. Let's get some of the, uh, what do you call that? Let's get some of the, let's take a quick pause and we'll be back in a second. All right, so I got all of the, I got all the big chunks out. Most of the big chunks out. Let's see what we got here. Let's. All right, so looks what do we got here? Looks like we got four quarts, a little over four quarts of good chicken stock. Let's get a little, let's get a little taste of this. Let's just see. Doesn't look like there's too much oil on the top. Let's 
It has a nice chickeny flavor. Kind of mild. Of course, there's no salt in there. Just like, you know, if you were to buy it in a store, those ones have a little more salt in them. But I have some, my, the chicken breast, I have, and actually we're going to use that to make um, some, I was going to use it to make chicken salad, but I have to go somewhere tomorrow. So we're going to make a, uh, a buffalo chicken um, dip with this, with the big pieces here. The little wingettes, little parts of the wings, so don't, don't forget when you're making chicken wings, when you're buying the whole thing, save yourself some, save yourself the little wing pieces so that you can get a nice, get yourself some pieces to make some chicken stock. You can see right there. Very good. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to uh, doing some more videos on soups. And this is just a base. Gonna do, gonna get a hold of some beef bones. And I'm gonna do a uh, beef stock. I wanna try to do a chicken stock, although we don't many, make too many seafood things. But we'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.